Well, welcome to the swearing in of two new justices of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom, Lord Justice Hughes and Lord Justice Toulson. Apart from the swearing in of all the justices when the court was created on the 1st of October 2009, this is the first time that more than one justice has been sworn in. And it's the first swearing in ceremony which I have had the pleasure of conducting. I'd like to extend a particularly warm welcome to the families and friends of Lord Justice Hughes and the family and friends of Lord Justice Toulson, whether they are physically present or watching on our YouTube channel. Lord Justice Hughes has been in the Court of Appeal since 2006 and Vice President of its Criminal Division since 2009. In that role, he's done much to support the Lord Chief Justice in the administration of a court whose workload is legendary. When I was in the Court of Appeal, I could normally tell which of my colleagues were sitting in the criminal division as they look permanently tense and exhausted. But Lord Justice Hughes, always sat, who sat there more than anyone, always looked fresh and relaxed. As a High Court judge, he started in the family division and then moved to the Queen's Bench Division, where he served as presiding judge on the Midland Circuit. This has all provided him with a range of experience, which will be of great benefit here. Outside the law, Lord Justice Hughes cites his interests as garden labouring, mechanics and bell ringing. Gardening will give him patience, which he will sometimes need with advocates, and even occasionally, dare I say it, with his colleagues. Mechanics will help him with patent and construction appeals. As for bell ringing, he must be the first campanologist to reach the Supreme Court. Lord Justice Toulson has great experience of the common law, whose development has, has perhaps been somewhat overlooked since we all became so understandably interested in human rights. He's been a Lord Justice of Appeal since 2007, having been a High Court judge since 1996, when he too served as a presiding judge, uh, in his case on the Western Circuit. From 2002, he successfully chaired the Law Commission, which has the important task of proposing changes in the law to the government. He occupied that role for four years to complete a project on the reform of the law of murder. When at the Law Commission, he was inevitably also engaged in comprehensively considering uh, other very important areas of the law. Shortly after that, he became an effective deputy chair of the Judicial Appointments Commission, which is chaired by a non-lawyer. For the last two or three years, he's been entrusted by the Lord Chief Justice with judicial disciplinary issues in England and Wales, experience which I hope won't be needed here. He's written a highly regarded book on the important topic of confidentiality, the very new edition of which I've already had cause to consult. On top of that, he too is also a gardener. The ceremony which you are about to witness is relatively simple, but no less important for that. I shall shortly invite Lord Justice Hughes and then Lord Justice Toulson to come forward to take the oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen and then the judicial oath. They, they will each then sign the oath book and put on the robe of a Justice of the Supreme Court and they will then acquire a title. In the case of Lord Justice Hughes, it will be Lord Hughes of Ombersley in the case of Lord Justice Toulson, it will simply be Lord Toulson. I will then invite them to take their seats as Justices of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom, which involves a bit of handshaking, and we all then process out for a commemorative photograph. Having been their colleague in the Court of Appeal, where I sat with each of them for a number of, on a number of occasions, I have considerable experience of Lord Justice Hughes and Lord Justice Toulson, I can therefore say from my own knowledge that they will both make excellent members of the Supreme Court, both as justices sitting in court and deciding cases, and as colleagues out of court discussing cases, and more broadly, upholding and enhancing the standing and reputation of this court. I hope and believe that they will enjoy their time as justices of the Supreme Court, and on behalf of all their proleptic colleagues, I wish them very well.
I now invite Lord Justice Hughes uh, to come forward to take the oaths as required by law. I, Anthony Philip Gilson Hughes, do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Anthony Philip Gilson Hughes, do swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth II in the office of a Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. And I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of this realm, without fear or favour, affection or ill will. I now invite you to sign the oaths book. Thank you. I have great pleasure in presenting you with your letters patent. <clears throat> Thank you. I now invite you to take your seat on the bench as a Justice of the Supreme Court with the judicial title of Lord Hughes of Ombersley. Lord Justice Tulson, I invite you to come forward to take the oaths as required by law. I, Roger Grenfell Tulson, do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Roger Grenfell Tulson, do swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth II in the office of a Justice of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom, and I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of this realm without fear or favour, affection or ill will. I now invite you to sign the Oaths Book. I have great pleasure in presenting you with your letters patent. I now invite you to take your seat on the bench as a Justice of the Supreme Court with the judicial title of Lord Tulson.
I hope the new justices conduct themselves in court as a, in an exemplary as fa a fashion as their grandchildren. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming. The court is now adjourned.